Today we're filming the video to Ballin. It's my third single. I'm here with all my good peeps. We decided to do this on our own. It was one of the first records that I wrote when I first came to LA. I was 19 years old when I wrote it. I wrote it before Sally and before Ego. And before anyone really knew me, I, I got to go into a session with Midi Mafia and their dope producers. And I just went in like, and wrote the shit. I think it was subconsciously kind of like a, a way to cope, you know, because I was like away from my family for the first time and I was all alone in this huge city, like on my own for the first time. Well, Corey is one of the main people that's involved in this video, obviously. Corey's a friend of mine, and when we met, we just clicked, like, just cool as fuck. And I literally went to her house, like, the day, like, the last day, my manager was like, Phoebe, you have to pick a treatment, you gotta figure it out. And she was like, come over, and I was like, cool. And I went over to her house, and she came up with this dope, she's like, I'll do it. So yeah, me and Corey were like, fuck it. Let's make our own fucking treatment. That's just honest, like it's not gimmicky, it's not like no pop star shit, it's not like me trying to, you know, be some shit I'm not, or trying to sell, sell myself or sell my song. It's just like, true, you know, a lot of the things, like, you know, just like a typical day in the life of a broke bitch. I make songs. I just know what feels right and what feels honest and what feels genuine and what doesn't. And throughout my career, that's been the most important thing to me, to make sure that everything that I do really feels like me. And Ballin was kind of just a record that I wrote to kind of uplift myself and like push myself towards that through inconveniences, through pain, right? I'm still cool though. So I'm, I'm really blessed and lucky to have found that, you know? 